What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Bush Gardens Tampa where we're here to check out Hollow Scream, the annual haunts event that takes place here at Bush Gardens Tampa. We are here on a Friday. It's gonna be very busy. We're gonna head on inside, get scared. We have five haunted houses to go through and we have six different scare zones with a couple of shows. Once again, I don't know exactly how much we're gonna be able to get done because it's so busy here on a Friday night, but we're still gonna head on inside, have fun and get spooky. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, we made it inside. One thing that I'm immediately noticing is that there's no front zone over here. Normally there's like a horde of scare actors at the front scaring you as soon as you walk in. Huh. Either way, we're still gonna have fun. Let's head on inside and uh, see what the wait times are looking like and decide where to go from there. The first scare zone that we come across isn't really a scare zone, it's more of a mini walkthrough. Let's head on inside the junkyard. Now, I personally really like this zone because it's full with a bunch of stuff from Hollow Screen Pass. So definitely worth keeping your eye out for some Easter eggs. Like over here, the Motel Hell sign. That's always fun to see. Oh, now this is just rude. They have a Sand Serpent ride vehicle out of here. What the heck? Oh no, they sent it right to the junkyard. That's awesome. Now, I forget what scare zone this is from, but I remember this set piece right here being from one of the scare zones from a couple years ago. I think it was like a, a schoolhouse scare zone of the damned. I don't really know. I forget what it's called. But these props over here, these are from Deathwater Bayou, the haunted house that ran for like, what, 10 years? This was a haunted house that I personally worked in. So a lot of fond memories with these props. Oh man, rest in peace, Deathwater Bayou. Both of us have a history with this house. We both worked in it. That's kind of sad. It had a good run though. It had a very good run. This sign over here is from the old scare zone camp DOA. Take a look at this. This is from Deadfall, an old haunted house that was here at Bush Gardens. This whole zone is just awesome. It's just nostalgia. Look at that, another entrance sign for Deathwater Bayou. I love it. This is Nightshade Toys. This is the haunted house that came before Deathwater Bayou. I remember this house vividly. It was here the very first time I ever came to Hollow Scream. Definitely have some fond memories with this one. That. <laughs> Junkyard is always such a fun scare zone because it evolves as the event goes on year after year. As things get closed down and they change things out with Hollow Scream, they put references to it in that zone. I hope they never get rid of it, honestly, because that's awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make our way counterclockwise around the park. A lot of the houses in the back of the park are actually like a lower weight right now with the residents being only 10 minutes. So we're going to make our way counterclockwise, hit some of those houses, and then we'll continue on to the very last house, which is going to be the brand new one, which is what, Circus of Fear? First haunted house of the night is going to be Stranglewood Estates.
Oh, you got me. Okay, so we just got done with Stranglewood Estates. That is a very, very pretty house. I love the set design in there and the audio in there is really great. You can hear the ambient music and I love the whole vibe of the house. The only problem is that it lacks scare actors. There's a lot of dead space in the house where visually it's pretty and there are some loud noises and some sound effects, but there are just not that many scare actors at all in the house. Otherwise, it would be a fantastic house. I remember going through that house. Is this its third year? Second year? Really? It's only second year? Huh. Anyways, I remember going through the house last year and there were a lot more scare actors and a lot more jump scare and sound effects. Who knows? Maybe we just had a bad run and the group of girls in front of us were getting all the scares. But either way, it's still a solid house. I love it and I would happily go through it again. Coming up on our next scare zone, we have Sin City Zombies. <laughs> Is this a nod to Motel Hell? I like to think that it is. <laughs> oh, babe, want to get married? Yeah. Like it's a drive-thru. It's a drive-thru. <laughs> Oh, that was cool. <laughs> so even though we don't have an official voodoo scare zone, we still have remnants of that zone over here in this uh, burning wicker man looking thing. Hey, look at that guy over there. I see him. Yeah, he's the one who had a brain transplant, but the brain rejected him. Oh yeah, that'll happen. Hey there, how you doing? Hi, hi. Good to see you. Hello. Oh, hey, look at that lady over there. Oh, 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 her? Yeah, I really like her. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but people say I have no taste. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Wonder if I promise to miss her if she'll go away. The next haunted house of the night is a personal favorite of mine, the residence, home for the holidays. <laughs>
Mama! Okay, so we just got done with the residence home for the holidays. Once again, a very solid house. Definitely more scare actors in this house than there were in Stranglewood. Either that or the house is just a little bit more compact and it made it seem like there were a lot more scare actors. Either way, it was a phenomenal house. I know I mentioned this over at Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood, but I love the mashup between Halloween and Christmas. It's always such a great time. And I don't know, I just really like that house. It's really solid, I like it. The next scare zone that we're heading into is Demolition Derby. What in the world? I just want to point this out. Look at this. They have a wacky, wavy arm inflatable tube man. <laughs> the best. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> Hello. Such a really cool shot. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> So this is something that's really unique. They have bumper cars over here at Bush Gardens, and for Hall of Scream, they have a few scare actors that hang out in the bumper cars. You can see the one over there wearing a hat, and there's another one further on back who's also wearing a hat. One thing that I'm definitely noticing this year compared to last year is that there are a lot less scare zones at the event. Last year and years past, it seemed like you couldn't walk 10 feet without going into a zone or a horde. But this year, there's a lot of dead space in the park, which I don't really know how I feel about that. I mean, it's kind of understandable. I mean, in years past, over the last couple of years particularly, it looks like there were less and less scare actors in the zone. So it looks like they're just trying to consolidate. But still, it's very noticeable. And speaking of scare zones, we're heading into our next one, which is called the shortcut. The next haunted house that we have on our list is The Forgotten. However, we did hear that it is almost a carbon copy with very little changes from what they had last year. So we might skip it because it is a 60 minute wait. What's the wait time, babe? 90. 90, that's even worse. Yeah, that's definitely not worth a 90 minute wait. We're gonna go ahead and keep on walking. One of the shows that they do offer here at Hollow Scream is over here at the Stanleyville Theater called Cirque X Scream. So think of like Cirque du Soleil, but just Halloween themed. The next scare zone that we have, definitely one of my favorites from last year, Raven's Mill.
Another returning scare zone from last year is Beyond the Bale, but this time it's in a new location. They put it here in the Sesame Street area. Okay, so far, Beyond the Veil, definitely the best scare zone of the event. Aside from Junkyard, which has the nostalgia factor that I really love, this one has got the ambiance, it's got the music, and it's got the costumes to back it up. The costumes and makeup are incredible. I love what they did with the scare actors in this zone. I do wish that they still had the fun bubbles that they mixed with the fog. Last year, when it was out by Cheetah Hunt, they had a bubble machine that filled the bubbles with fog. That was really cool. I wish that they had the same thing again this year for this zone, but it is still a fantastic zone that is definitely one of my favorites. Another thing that I'm really noticing that Bush Gardens doesn't have this year compared to other years, something that made this haunt unique is the bushes, the people that are dressed in ghillie suits hiding in the bushes and in the in, in the hedges under the shrubbery. Like, that's not a thing this year. And if they are, I'm not seeing them, but normally, like, you would have one or two in almost every scare zone, just there to catch people off guard. And now they're not a thing. I'm kind of sad. So over here at the Coke Canopy, they don't have a show like they did last year, but instead, they have something called Rave Yard. Let's go check it out. Well, this is really interesting. And also, this is just mean. They got rid of Fiends this year. Fiends is no longer a thing, but they still have the naughty nurses. What the heck? Next haunted house of the night that's got practically no weight at all is gonna be Witch of the Woods.
just got through Witch of the Woods and it was again a very beautiful house. No complaints on the set design from year after year. However, it still suffers the same fate as other haunted houses where it's just not enough scare actors. There's so much dead space in the haunted house. I don't know, man. That's really unfortunate. Like a lot of these houses can be really good. And a lot of these houses are pretty, but without scare actors, it's just empty rooms and empty hallways. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for our next singer taking the stage, if I can have Nicole, please make your way. So over here, outside of Iron Gwazi, they have something new. It's uh, karaoke. I mean, right now they have one of the um, employees singing, but earlier there was a couple that was singing. Holy cow. Well, that's definitely something that I was not expecting to see at a haunt. Karaoke. Now, there was another show over at the Gwazi Field Amphitheater. Uh, that was called Rock the Grave and unfortunately it doesn't look like that show was very well received as after the first few weekends that show was cancelled. It's it's done, it's not performing anymore at Howl Scream so it's that's very interesting to me. Karaoke, that's different. And ladies and gentlemen our last and final haunted house of the night is brand new for this year D.H. Bagum's Circus of Fear. All right, we're finally walking through a brand new haunted house in this area that's not uh, Deathwater Bayou. First time in like 13 years. I know, it seems like it was 13 years. Yep. Was it 13 years? Because when I first started working here, it was Deathwater Bayou's first year. Either way, let's head on inside. <laughs> How would you like what to be a freak in our show? That'd be great. Tails I win, heads you lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mirror effects. <laughs> Yeah, you got me good. That's a good distraction. I love that. 
Okay, yeah, Hollow Scream is definitely stepping up their set game. That was such a fun house. I love the circus aesthetic and the set design was really good. I love the props and the scares were great. The scare actors in there were a lot of fun as well. Overall, a fantastic house, one that I definitely look forward to doing again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that's gonna do it from us here at Bush Gardens to experience Hollow Scream for the 2023 season. Overall, the event is fun. It's a great event that is unfortunately plagued by staffing issues. There's just way too much empty space in this event and the houses and zones are suffering from it. However, the scare actors that actually are here are phenomenal. You can tell that each and every single one of them love what they do and they put their all into their roles. So a huge shout out to every single scare actor that is here working at Hollow Screen. You guys are all the real MVPs and you bring this event to life. Despite the staffing issues, it is still a fun event that is definitely worth your time and money. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about today's video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.